Praise God! Credited as righteousness? Welcome to Bible on the Go with Dr. Dan. There's a phrase that refer in the Bible that refers to the great agreement that God made with Abraham when he said that he would build a nation through him in Genesis 12, and it's followed through in the New Testament, and it's, well, you search the phrase, uh, credited and righteousness, that is the words credited and righteousness, you get several hits, and I wanted to roll through them and show you how, what a powerful concept this is. It all starts in Genesis 15, 6, summarizing Abraham's response to God's promise when Abraham believed God. It says, Abram believed the Lord, and he credited it to him as righteousness. Abraham didn't have any righteousness. We know that from just watching the way that he interacted with the pharaohs and with his neighbors. He wasn't exactly a model citizen, but what is so crucial and unique that becomes a biblical standard is that it was Abraham's belief that credit that gave him a credit as righteousness. It was credited to him as righteousness. And now there's another place in the Bible where this phrase is used. It's not about Abraham at all. I thought it was really interesting. It says that Phineas intervened in Psalm 106, 30 and 31, Phineas, but Phineas intervened, okay? And it was credited to him as righteousness through, throughout all generations to come. So this is a very special phrase. Because of the action, because of the belief, it was credited as righteousness. Well, this wasn't lost on the apostle Paul because in Romans, he just goes wild with it. Starting in Romans 4, 3, when he refers to Genesis and says, for what does the scripture say? Isn't that cool? The New Testament writer referring to the Old Testament as scripture, right? What does the scripture say? Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness. This accounting principle where he received a credit of righteousness, right? Which is just predicated on what? The fact that he believed God. Well, two verses later in verse five, Paul says the same thing. He says, but to the one who does not work, but believes on him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is credited for righteousness. Here he's making the application for the believer's faith based on the example of Abraham's faith. And then four verses later, he, he goes even further when he says, this is Paul, the Apostle Paul, is this blessing only for the circumcised then? In other words, for the Jewish people? Or is it also for the uncircumcised? For we say, faith was credited to Abraham for righteousness. And he teaches a little bit more about it. Then in verse 11, two verses later, he says this, and he received the sign of circumcision as a seal of the righteousness that he had by faith while still uncircumcised. This was to make him the father of all who believe. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I'm one of them and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord. It says that, and it says, so that righteousness may be credited to them also. Quite a statement there in Romans 4, 11. And then verse 4, 22, when he concludes his teaching, he says, therefore, it was credited to him for righteousness. This is a feature of Christianity. This is a value. And this is why we refer to Abraham as Father Abraham, because he believed God and it was credited as righteousness. Well, in Galatians 3, 6, Paul makes this point again to the Galatians. And he says, was just like Abraham who believed God and it was credited to him for righteousness. Wow, so many times in the New Testament, after the example of the old, and James is the last one 
to make mention of this in James 2, 23. And he says, and the scripture was fulfilled, it says, Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness and he was called God's friend. Thank goodness that the example of the Old Testament now is a high standard for the new and everyone who believes in Christ gets a credit for righteousness. Praise God! Thanks for watching Bible on the Go with Dr. Dan. If you like these videos, the best thing you can do is hit that red button called subscribe. Thanks to all of you who've subscribed and keep on hitting that red button. It doesn't cost a thing and you only have to do it once. Praise God.